Okay, in this video, we're going to take Revit and we're going to bring that into the free version of SketchUp. So in order to do that, we go from a Revit file to a Rhino file to a SketchUp file. That way we can bring this in as a .skp file. If you have SketchUp Pro, you can go straight from a DWG into SketchUp. So let's get into it. So going into Revit, first thing we need to do is export our file. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Export, I'm going to go to CAD Formats, I'm going to go to DWG. From here, I can just say Save and Close, so I'm going to hit Cancel, but you can just save all the way through with the default settings. And then in Rhino, um, which if you don't have Rhino, you can get a educational uh, or a trial uh, version of Rhino for 90 days. And the educational version is not that expensive if you are a student. Uh, it's only a couple hundred bucks. And then from here, in order to open this up, you just go to open and you choose your file. And you should do, uh, if you're working with inches and feet in Revit, just choose inches and inches here when you go to bring it in. And with this, you'll see that we get our uh, geometry brought in. And then from here, all you have to do is go to export with origin and I like to just zoom out and highlight everything and then press enter and then the origin is 0 comma 0 comma 0 enter and then from here you can go and save this as a .skp file SketchUp SKP and so I already have that file uh, named in there. And if you want, you can say save geometry only to keep it more simple. I'm just gonna name this two and say save. And then from here, you can export it to a, uh, any SketchUp file you want. And um, you might wanna play around with toggling this on and off based on your project, which works better for you. Uh, but I've been tending to just keep export uh, planar regions as polygons, say okay. And then going into SketchUp, all you have to do is go to sketchup.com slash free. And here you can click on start modeling and you can just sign in with like a Google account. And in here, you would just go to uh, new. And in the new model, we are gonna go to insert and we're gonna import our file. And so in order to do that, you can just drag it on from your desktop. Here you see the name of it, insert as component. Just click on your origin and then zoom out, hit escape, and double click on your mouse wheel to zoom extent. And I knew that my project was coming in off the origin because it lands uh, in a particular spot on a site map. So mine's pretty far away from the person. I'm going to delete my person as well that's standing at the origin. Now here, this comes in as one block. So in order to start to edit this, click on it, right click, and click on explode. And this will break it down into individual pieces. And in these individual pieces, if you need to delete anything or change anything, uh, you can go and do that. So let's say I wanted to delete out some of these parking spots. I could. Um, if I want to explode something even further, like this, uh, this grouping of lines, I could right click and I could explode it. I could also make it a unique component or edit this component and it'll change all of them uh, that are associated with it. With the uh, geometry here, some of it will actually interact pretty well. So like, let's say I wanted to pull this out, I can, um, but it's giving me really like a no option sign on some of the more um, curved surfaces. So you see that there's, there's some limitations here bringing it in, but at least you can get most of your Revit line work brought into SketchUp, so that way you can build off of that if you needed to. All right, don't forget to save and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.